Hi guys, my name's Andrew Ogilvy and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be playing some more Pokemon Leaf Green and in this episode we're just going to be making our way through Victory Road some more. We've got a good few trainers to battle. I just noticed that the repel went out so we'll need, we'll need to uh, get one of those going again. And uh, I've got a few wee things I want to speak about in this episode. Uh, one of which is uh, we're back out of lockdown. <laughs> it feels like everything I come on this, I, I, every time I come on to do like a podcast, we play this game essentially and talk about things. I, we're in and out of lockdown. Uh, I don't know how many times it feels like it's been now. It's, it's been well over, well over three anyway. <laughs> um, but that's us. I think I think this is the final time. So uh, the gyms and all that have all been back up. They opened on the twenty sixth. So that's this week. Uh, the week of this being the least. And my first day going back was uh, yesterday. Yesterday for me was the twenty eighth. So that's a way Wednesday. Yep, Wednesday. I have to double double check my dates. And I, uh, you know, I've, I've overdone it. Like I don't know if uh, if you've ever, if you've ever at the age where you go to gyms, or if you go to the gym or you're a gym member, and you just go and you think, oh, I'm doing great, I'm doing great, and then the next day you're done. Like I was lifting weights, I was lifting before I went before like the lockdown started. So that was me. Like I would class myself fit back then, and then I've had a full lockdown of not doing any sort of exercise to going back into the gym lifting the same sort of heavy weights. And yeah, it's definitely taking its toll. I, I, I've definitely learned my lesson. Let's get ourselves a repel on. I noticed the repel had left, left of the scent, the scent had left. I don't understand how a repel works. Do you think it's just like a, a fly spray? You just walk about with it and your hand just spraying as you're walking? <laughs> or do you think it's like, there's something that you spray on yourself? That's just something I've never really thought about too much. Uh, it probably makes sense, it's something that you you sprayed on yourself so that you wouldn't have to walk about with this fly spray spraying everyone that goes by. <laughs> uh, I, so I, I've, I've, I've seen I've done a serious number on my body. Uh, it's more my left side. I'm, I'm a, right, a predominantly right-sided person so when I'm playing football I kick my right foot. Uh, well, preferably I kick my right foot and in my, when it comes to writing I write with my right hand. And uh, yeah, I, I've definitely, like, my left hand has not received any sort of uh, nice treatment over lockdown, any sort of workouts or lifting anything heavy, and that, that's definitely paid, paid the, I've paid the price there, like, it's, it's taken its toll, not doing anything along those lines. Uh, where are we meant to be going? Is it up this one? Uh, what about this guy? I think, I think we're doing alright so far. And I saw so, uh, my left arm in particular has been so sore all day. I'm having a, I'm gonna have a moan with these right now. I've I've seriously I, I think I've earned it I, the, the amount of work I put in <laughs> yesterday at the gym. My arm seems to be stuck in a permanent 90 degree position. Now that could be like something seriously wrong with me or I've just lifted too heavy a weights that it really hurts when I straighten my arm, it really hurts when I curl my arm right up to my face. So I am um, the 90 degrees is a sweet spot, so that my, my arm's sort of like, in its own, uh, if you can imagine, like this, make, I don't even know how to describe it, like, it's, I, I've, my arm's just been wedged like this all day, it's so sore to like, do anything with, but, it hindered me for work, obviously, I sat at a desk all day, and I was like, trying to stretch my arm, do things, and you're reaching out, you're having your lunch, and you forget about it, and you lift something up, and it's just sort of, sort of, I, I, if you're going back to the gym, like me, um, do something not like me and actually take take care of yourself. <laughs> uh, don't try and push yourself on your first day back because your recovery period is going to be so much uh, so much worse than what it was. And yeah, that's me just sort of figuring that out. Usually I'd be fine the next day. It's, it's usually just the night before. I'm I'm usually a wee bit sore. And if, funnily enough, I wasn't I was fine last night, but this morning not so much. Uh, so we're into the next battle. It says it's got a sand slash. I, I really don't want to send out Gamakichi. I wanted to try and get some levels across the board, but it looks like we're going to have to send out Gamakichi because I can't be taking that accuracy drop too much. Um, I kind of want to get like everyone up there at the 49s, 50s. I know we definitely have a, a good few rare candies in the pockets, which we will. Be, I, I have thought about it. We will be using those prior to coming up to the Elite, uh, the elite 4. So for the last thing, I think we've got 7 or, or 8 or something like that. We'll just try and bring all the, all the team members up. Because let, let's be honest, we're not going to need it any any airtime soon, and the plan is just to do this, do the post game stuff, and then that's going to be the end of the series. So I don't need to hold on to them. I'm not going for that level 100 that I usually save them all up for when my guys get to like 90, and then I just file them all on on those guys. Yeah, let's go for an earthquake. Screech. That's defence, isn't it? 
It's not too bad. I like to, do you know, he's had some quite scary Pokemon. That's a, 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 sand, slash, a, a sand slash and an electrode, if I can speak right. Um, I saw, I was looking at what, what to do next, because I know we've not got many more episodes left in this series. What, and I, I've got a wee thing, I kind of want to go and... It's a wee bit different. I want to sort of break away, have my own, have a separate channel for playing games and then a separate channel for my cars. I think that's the smart option, if you ask me. Um, it makes more sense in my eyes. I, I, I don't know, I don't know how else to sort of think about it. But I, I, the way I was explaining that, I think I've explained it before, was you end up with a lot of subscribers that are here for gaming and then you've got a lot of subscribers that are here for cars. But they don't want to sort of. If I, I don't want to be spamming someone's inbox with stuff that they're not gonna watch, uh, and that annoys me. Like I've, I, I, I know I've personally done it where um, I've been subscribed to like a small YouTuber and then he's broke away and done something different and completely like turned a corner in his career. And I'm like, I, I, I don't really. That's not what I want to watch. <laughs> if it's anything mad, I end up, I end up like either unsubscribing or. Um, I just don't end up watching, which is pretty pointless uh, for me to get, keep getting spammed. Let's uh, let's switch that out because uh, that, that, that was pretty hard. <laughs> we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna be taking that from Arcanine. We send out pain. We will get an earthquake going. We've got a good we've got a good move pool now. I'm actually quite confident that we can we've got we've got good matchups across the board and uh, good type coverage. The the main one was obviously picking up Dragon Claw and teaching that to Zippo. Uh, did we actually do that? Have, have we done that yet? I feel like I feel like I've done it in the last episode. This is what I get for not checking what I've done in the previous episode. But uh, hopefully I did, because um, that's that's one of the moves that's up there. That's that's what I want to have on the team member. A match of life. Fantastic. It's what I've always wanted. I've never thought about anything more than a match of life. What have we got down here? TM50 overheat. That's actually a good move. However, I think it lowers SP attack, so... It's good on the off chance of using it like maybe once or twice in a battle, but like the more you use it, the lower your actual the, the power of it's going to be. Although it is, I think it's maybe got 140 base power. Uh, don't quote me on that because I think I might be wrong. But it's a really strong move, um, but it does have its negative side effects. That's why I like Flamethrower. I think it's like strong enough that you can get away with things and it doesn't have any negative side effects, does it? Not when you think about it, it's, a, it's an all round good move. Uh, in my opinion anyway. Let's say uh, knock this up here, knock that down. I feel like we've maybe got like some, something else that we're supposed to do. These repels don't last long, don't they? Not? I feel like it's going to be one of those episodes where I'm just constantly like running about repelling things and uh, I, I don't want to be doing that. I, I'd rather get like into the nitty gritty of the stuff and get it all uh, done and dusted. I think that's us actually. I think we've got this person here to battle. Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's plan it out. We've got those two people to battle. Which then takes us down into this random area here, uh, which we can then push that boulder there. Yep, I think we're, we're all good. I think we're pretty good. Um, let's go and let's avoid these trainers. We'll go and battle that other person. I've I've got my plan. I've got the plan, guys. I really should have had a wee look at this before I <laughs> before I started filming. Ah, we're gonna have to battle them anyway. We've got one trainer up on that wee platform to to battle the guy to the left there and this person here. And that'll do is for this wee sort of section. Um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll speed up because we don't want to. We don't want to be sitting doing this forever. I hate that. that well, that didn't work. Let's send out. Let's send out Zippo. Get the flamethrower going. Uh, a weeping bell. Keep just hit, spamming flamethrower. I kind of want to get it done. Um, I, I, there's so much stuff I want to move on to. I, I was actually thinking as well. I would like to move on to uh, Pokemon Emerald. I have thought about it. I haven't really. Um, it's pretty early like in the videos uh, in terms of my subscribers and stuff like that so I haven't really had much feedback in terms of what game you want me to play next but I think for my own personal preference it's probably going to be Emerald so I think I'm just going to move on to that uh, enjoy playing it just have a good time playing it I, I, I absolutely love Pokemon Emerald it's, uh, it's, it's one of those games that it was Emerald and Leaf Green is what I grew up with I, I played Leaf Green and Fire Red before I played Emerald um, it was actually Sapphire and Ruby and me and my me and my brother both picked Sapphire. Like when my mum taking us to the game shop, uh, which was Woolworths. Like some shout, shout at Woolworths back in the day. <laughs> if you remember that shop, taking us into Woolworths, and she was like, pick, pick a Pokemon game out. And me and uh, me and Adam both picked Pokemon Sapphire. And I believe we also both picked Pokemon um, uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. Um, 
you would think we would have had, had some common sense to buy like one of each <laughs> and, and actually enjoy the game. No, definitely not as we, uh, we we bought both. And I always remember the first time I, the first sort of legendary Pokemon I captured. Uh, I never caught Mewtwo in my first ever playthrough uh, when I was a kid anyway. And I, the first ever legendary Pokemon I got was um, Kyogre. And uh, do you know, I just... It's such a boring legendary Pokemon. Like you can let me you can have this discussion with me if you want. I just don't like Kyogre. I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a quite a cool Pokemon. Like um, it like controls the sea and things like that. But I just I don't like it to look at. I don't know what what like possessed me to um, like. I, I I don't quite understand what my my, my thought logic uh, logic was. And not getting emerald. Because emerald looks look, look at the legendary. It looks so much cooler. I'm just gonna smash these solar beams. See that sunny day solar beam? Uh, that like you can see there. It's it just absolutely decimates our opponents. We're going to the next battle. And we'll just speed this up. We should be able. Oh, why did I not just use the brick break? <laughs> it's because I'm trying to like speed through it. I'm uh, I'm gonna end up like messing myself up here and uh, sending out the wrong Pokemon and then uh, and then paying the price. <laughs> Let's go with the faint attack. Oh, that's that done nothing. Oh my god, that done nothing. Oh, let's send out pain. That's not going to be a good mo good Pokemon to send out. Let's go for the superpower, which points out. Fantastic. I was getting a wee bit worried there. Uh, let's send out... Let's go for... Just wipe up. Just wipe the floor. Come on. Come on, Zippo. You can, you can do it. And uh, one more. Oh! Chansey. Do you know Chansey's one of those Pokemon that just really annoys me? Do you know like you always get that Pokemon that just irritates you? It's always chances. Such a stolen Pokemon. Let's sing, and then we're gonna end up soft boil. It just heals itself and makes itself so hard to like wipe out in one go. So annoying. But minimize, sing, soft boil. Has it even got an attacking move? Has it got like pound or something like that? Let's go for the fly. Let's go for the fly. We're just gonna keep missing now. Let's uh, let's just let's just smash some strengths on. Fantastic! I'm actually so done with that, Chansey. Well, we're going to wrap the episode up here. Um, I'll, in the next episode, we'll finish the rest of the Victory Road, and we can start taking on the Pokemon League. It's going to be it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned for that. Uh, like and subscribe. Like and follow if it's Facebook. Check comments. Uh, not not the comments. Check the description where I've got links to all my all my goodies in there. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.